What's up guys, Bricktonian here, back again with a video on the free LEGO Mindstorms mini robot set that LEGO gave out when you spent over $100 on any LEGO sets from October 15th to October 25th. First things first, let's take a look at the packaging. It's in a fairly substantial box with uh, the five robot builds in the front here. The five robots are called Mini Charlie, Mini Tricky, Mini Blast, Mini MVP, and Mini Jello. As you can see on the back here, these five robots are actually based on the five full-size existing LEGO Mindstorms robots, which you could probably tell from the naming since they all had Mini in front of the name. Uh, but yeah, the original robots are from set 51515, which you can see uh, on the bottom right right here. I don't have that set, so unfortunately, I can't really bring them in for comparison. Uh, but yeah, so nothing too interesting on the, uh, on the left side, right side, yeah, nothing too interesting on the sides. Uh, the top has the actual sized robot head, and the bottom just has the five models in French and Spanish, it looks like. Okay, let's get into it. All right, here it is. I'm gonna put the pictures of the original robots on screen now to compare. Personally, I think they did an all right job at capturing what the full-sized robots look like. It's not the best, but I'm not sure what else they could have done to make it look more accurate, to be honest. I think the best one is this one right here, which is Tricky, uh, who kind of looks like a forklift. The Lego designer managed to capture the look of its larger counterpart really well. Now, if you may have noticed in the pictures that I showed, the original robots all had extra attachments, except for Jello. Unfortunately, the mini robots didn't come with any of those attachments, barring mini MVP, which came with one, which I will get into later. All right, so here's mini blast. In terms of articulation, he has joints in the legs, so this can move forward and back and uh, side to side like so. Same thing with this leg, back to forward and back, side to side. Uh, the arms here, because of these joints, it can really only go forward and back like sideways, like so. Uh, this elbow doesn't have a joint here, but this one can rotate if you want to rotate the shield uh, like left and right. And then this can also come down because there is a hinge joint right here. So this can come down like so, but there's kind of not really much point to doing that. You would normally just keep it up like so. Uh, for this arm, he has a spring-loaded shooter. Uh, and the elbow joint here actually has another joint, so this can, this can rotate without the whole arm rotating, or you can rotate with the entire arm as well. So yeah, spring-loaded shooter. Everyone knows how this works by now, but here's a little demonstration. You just push this one down, and it'll shoot out, like so. Then you can just uh, poke it back in. And then, yeah, and then the top here, we have the head, head articulation. This can move all the way 360. And, uh, yeah, here's the back. That's pretty much it in terms of articulation, though, for Blast. Alright, next up here is Mini Charlie. So Mini Charlie is pretty cool. I actually really like his design a lot. In terms of articulation, the arms here can move uh, kind of up and down like so. Same thing on this side. His entire head is on a bowl joint. So his entire head can rotate like this. His mouthpiece as well can move up and down to make it simulate like he's talking, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then, oh yeah, and then his chest can actually open because uh, you can't really see it, but there's actually a hinge. So it can open like so and reveal a little heart in there. That's kind of cool. And then, yep, on the bottom, there are these two wheels and then these two black level ball pieces, which are also pretty uh, slippery and can rotate. So he slides pretty easily like so. For ears, he just has the uh, Lego levers. Which is alright, I guess. Does capture the thing pretty well. And yeah, that's it for him. Now we're moving on to Mini Jello. 
he looks more a lot more like an animal like a creature to be honest so you've got the legs that are able to move in terms of articulation same thing over here uh and then yeah that's uh that's kind of it whoops that just fell apart that's kind of it it uses these two bucket handle pieces to simulate um like detail in the front here and uh yeah that's pretty much it for mini jello So next up here is Mini Tricky in the forklift formation. So as you can see, it comes with this little red ball right here, which I will go into a little bit later uh, in the accessory section. But here is Mini Tricky. The only thing that really kind of moves is the um, uh, this forklift arm, but it's in the entire arm that moves and uh, none of these individual pieces right here. Uh, the only other part that moves are the two wheels in the back, as well as the Mini uh, Lego ball black balls on the bottom here that simulate smaller wheels but uh yeah that's about it for uh mini tricky right here and last but not least here's mini mvp so as you can see he's got the wheels he can roll forward and backwards he has the attachment this attachment right here that has the full kind of crane uh arm that has articulation like so it can move up it can move down because of all those hinge joints and it's carrying here a little red bucket uh, whereas in the original, for the original MVP, uh, it has an original like crane hook arm and it ends with just a hook. I'll put a picture on screen right now so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, that's how it's supposed to look like and it doesn't come with the red bucket. Uh, in terms of accessories, it comes with this little um, walkie-talkie right here that you can take off. I'll look a little bit more in depth into that later as well in the accessories section. Uh, and uh, yeah, this can also also rotate uh, side to side like so. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the other cool part about Mini MVP is that it actually came with one of the attachments that the full model has. Now, this attachment is a shooter attachment, which, uh, as you can see, has the two stud shooters on top, which, if you just press here, it shoots the studs out. Uh, it also has articulation where it can move up and down here, as well as the uh, rotating plate, so this can rotate uh, 360. So how this gets on is you just simply take this off the back here, move it to the side, and then you can take this attachment and then just plop it back in. And then now you can see that uh, Mini MVP now has this other attachment uh, that the original full-size model had. I can move, rotate around and uh, move up and down if you want it, wanted to shoot up there. In terms of figures, there's no mini figures with this set since the robots themselves are kind of the main figures here. So, in terms of accessories, it comes with this red ball that Mini Tricky carries in its forklift form. This red bucket that Mini MVP carried with its crane arm attachment. And this walkie-talkie that attached to the back of Mini MVP as well. Interestingly enough, two of the three accessories came with Mini MVP. So yeah, guys. And in case you were wondering, here are all the spare parts that came with this set. As you can see, there's a lot. So, my conclusions. Did I like it? Would I buy it if it was a standalone set? I like it. I think it's a cool idea and great to have if you have the actual five original Mindstorms robots from set 51515. So you can compare them or play with them together, or if you're just a fan of robots in general. But would I buy it if it was standalone? No, I wouldn't because Mindstorms and robots aren't personally my thing. And there are a lot of Technic parts that I honestly just wouldn't even use as parts. Therefore, even if it was super cheap, I still wouldn't get it. But that's just me. Do you guys like it? Would you get it if it was a standalone set? Let me know in the comments. Alright, that's it for this video, guys. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.